There are two events that occurred that motivated Mrs. Stowe to write Uncle Tom's Cabin. The first was the death of her son, uh, Charles, at a year and a half. And she said it was the first time that she knew how a slave mother would feel when her children were sold away from her. The second event was the Fugitive Slave Law that was passed in 1850 that said that any slave that had escaped to the north could be captured and taken back to the south. In fact, if you had hired or were knew of any slave, you could be fined $1,000 or be put in jail for six months. Also, in order to bring a slave back, all you had to do was go to a justice of the peace and prove, supposedly prove that he was a slave. By the way, the justice of the peace got paid $10 if he was a slave and only $5 if he said he wasn't a slave. And when this law was passed, Mrs. Stowe's sister-in-law wrote to her and said to her, if I could write like you, I would write something that would show how accursed the slavery is. In 1851, Mrs. Stowe was living on the campus of Bowdoin College in Brunswick, Maine, where her husband had been teaching. She wrote, Up to this year, I have always felt that I had no particular call to meddle with this subject. But I feel now that the time has come when even a woman or a child who can speak a word for freedom and humanity is bound to speak. And speak she did. Uncle Tom's Cabin documented in passionate and heart-rending detail the tragic breakup of black Kentucky families sold down the river to slavery. Almost overnight, the characters of Uncle Tom, Little Eva, and the villainous Simon Legree became household words. In its first year, the book sold 300,000 copies and became an international sensation. One theme of the book is that slavery and Christianity cannot coexist. Mrs. Stowe saw slavery as part of a vast interlocking social system based on profit, with no regard for the human cost. In 1861, civil war finally broke out, tearing the country apart. When Mrs. Stowe visited the White House in 1863, to urge President Abraham Lincoln to do something for the thousands of slaves who had fled north to the capital, Lincoln greeted her as the little woman who wrote the book that made this great war. Of course, she did not start the Civil War, but her book was enormously important in shaping public opinion on the slavery issue. She was only one woman, yet her courage and moral passion stirred the moral conscience of an entire nation. Harriet Beecher Stowe.